For those of you who haven't watched before the show, uh, me and Frank typically talk about our 12-step recovery experience into a life of full devotion and what that has looked like and how we practically apply it. And yeah, if you just watched Ricky's show, that was an amazing demonstration of taking steps and hearing guidance and part of that practice of hearing our own guidance, which is what The Course of Miracles is all about, is hearing that internal guide, is practicing with our brothers and sisters that are our mighty companions, we call them, that are on the path with us and in 12 steps that looks like a sponsor and so forth. And when we hear something, we reflect it off of them. And when we can't hear, we trust them. And yeah, the development of trust section in the course is uh, something that I always read to remind me of that. And yeah, I'm very, very grateful. It was funny this morning I woke up and I had heard something in my mind and this has happened to me a few times, but it was, be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. And I opened up the course, and I literally opened it up right to the page. And I didn't even know this was in here. I haven't read this chapter in a while. Opened up to the exact page that says, in quotation, or italics, in this world you need not have tribulation, because I have overcome the world. That is why you should be of good cheer. And it's like those ones that have gone before us are the ones that are just cheering us on, saying, I have this image of... Uh, the uh, Robert or uh, Harrison Ford in the uh, the movie, I think it's the Last Crusade, Indiana Jones, where he takes those steps across the canyon, and it's like this abyss, and he's just putting his feet out to these stones that he can't see, and each one he lands on a stone, and it's like these brothers that have gone before, like standing on the other side of the canyon, just like waving us on, like don't trust what you're looking, you're seeing, just take this step, and you're going to be all right, and. So yeah, that's really what uh, I wanted to go live to Mallorca and check in with, with Frank, who is, yeah, who is in the development of trust and his, his period of undoing and all of it. And we've been uh, talking quite a bit and he's there with Lisa and uh, I want to take this episode to check in with them and see how things are going. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, well, I feel really honored just to be here yeah to be able to you know it's like we have a little bit of lull here on the weekend but we've been on this amazing journey for two months almost two months now but i know for frank it's been a very deep deep you know the course of miracles you know it's like you can read it all that you want but it's this it's this practical application and you know just watching frank just take these steps and really trusting and walking into the unknown because uh right after the mystery school frank said he was feeling a retreat center in spain or in europe is what you said and in an portugal and in an instant <laughs> uh like three days later we're flying over <laughs> and, and uh I just love it because it's just this wide open, like, let's all just be in the yes and just watching, you know, this development. And actually we're, we're starting all over again today, but you know, it's been really interesting and fun to be with Frank, just the very deep stuff, you know, really seeing the control. I mean, really, really being so present. And what's beautiful about Frank is just, him, his willingness to express what's going on and, you know, just being really, really present with the resistance and the control because, you know, it feels like the spirit's constantly redirecting it. We started out in Portugal. Uh, we were there for a while and nothing flowed. And then we all just went into prayer. And then Frank said he felt Mallorca and, and everything was just totally rearranged. And just watching just each day, just being so present with the prayer. And yeah, just, it's pretty exciting actually. I mean, it, it's very exciting to me and I know it's been intense for Frank. <laughs> <laughs> it has. <laughs> you know, but it's, you know I, it was, I was telling uh, yesterday, Jeffrey, you know, it's been really hard uh, for me. And, um, and I had quite a shock because I thought uh, I'm going to try to explain this as, as well as I explained it to you. I thought I was much further along, to, you know, with undoing. <laughs> and, and this trip has put up so much resistance. 
you know, the way things are done, the directions I'm getting. I got, oh my God, you know, and don't tell me, you know, also when I came to Mexico, it was easier for me because I came on your turf, you know. And I think, you know, no, they're in my, my world and, you know, they need to listen to me and <laughs> getting these information. <laughs> You know, we can't do this. And we talked about it even before before we left. And, you know, I'm realizing I'm only here for my healing, you know. And everything that's coming up is for my healing. And I am willing to look at it. You know, I am willing to look at it. And I feel, you know, these moments of uh, extreme anger. Because I'm, I'm with Lisa a lot. So I, I've had a lot of anger towards Lisa. And I said to her, I have so much resistance listening to you, you know and taking direction from you. So a lot of stuff came up and she was saying, you know, they might also be your, um, even, you know, something came up with my relationship to women because I always felt it's my role to take care of women, but then they need to do what I say, you know, and <laughs> stuff, but, you know, for me. And, and so, you know, all this kind of uh, uh, personality that the ego has carved and we're not even aware of it, you know, and all this is being thrown in my face. And it doesn't feel like, you know, oh, okay, now it's out. And, you know, it feels like peeling off skin, you know. It's like, ugh, <laughs> I don't want to do this. And, uh, and every day some new shit is coming up, you know, that I have to let go of. And, and a lot of it has also to do <laughs> with my, my concept of myself, you know. And, uh, you know, all this stuff that, that I, it's like this personality that the ego has carved up. And to have been now, you know, with Lisa for two months, David, it was uh, a part of it for a long time too. Is like, you know, I had this major stir. <laughs> it's like having a blender, you know, constantly, like, you know, stirring everything up. So, um, you know, in, in, and uh, sometimes I get irritated at, at Lisa, because I said, but I am willing to let go. See, you're not willing to let go. And I said, but I'm willing, you know, at least give me that. I'm willing to let it go. And willingness, <laughs> you know, so, so it's, um, uh, you know, anyway. Well, you know, it's beautiful because it's really <laughs> the practical application of forgiveness and really being able to bring up, you know, it's been beautiful, truly beautiful. It's just this willing to completely be transparent and bring the blocks of the spirit and mm. really practice forgiveness and beginning again over and over again and recommitting. It was like, I really feel like we're on this mission, which feels like such an honor to be on this mission with Frank, to have a center in Europe. And, and it's so great because, you know, it's not, we're finding out it's not an easy task, but you know, for me, I re it's not about, the outcome it's about being so present like okay we have to go in this direction now we have to go that direction frank's laying on the bed like oh my god you know because last night we even had the thought about maybe we're going to be going to italy who knows you know like we have to be just so wide open and not attached to where this is going to be because it's the spirit's plan not ours but letting go of control and yeah you know, willingness to continually question and yeah, and, and practice forgiveness. And it's really not about finding the place. And I mean, Italy, you know, these things, I'm kind of open, but it's more, you know, the way, like the criteria uh, that, that uh, you know, I have totally different criteria when I look for property. And that's where I had to, to let go, you know, like, uh, um you know, uh, uh, just uh, that's not how, how, you know, you find the right property. And, you know, and I know, and, you know, this I know mind, you know, has been, um, uh, you know, and you can't escape it because when you're, I can't escape it because I'm in the situation that, you know, I'm Lisa all the time when the resentment comes up, I can only it for a, a day, you know, and then I have to, but I know from the 12 step. I don't even have to hold it that long, you know. Where where I I'm I'm so happy that we have the, the this four step, you know, um, that I did 35 years ago, you know, and that was the first time I opened up. And once once I felt that relief, I knew, you know, uh, and, and the great thing is, you know, people we we talked about that too with Lisa yesterday when you say something and then. He said, oh my God, that's not a big deal. We've all been through it, you know? And, and so I'm, 
I'm, you know, for me, it's still the biggest tool is, you know, expose, you know, expose and don't people please. And so that's what we're doing. Right. Yeah. And it hasn't been pretty either. I mean, he has this whole self-concept with, you know, women even, you know, with who he's used to walking beside in the airport with models and, you know, all kinds of things. And so being able to, you know, and just this total, you know, it's been really good, juicy stuff to look at, you know, and so his whole show, Hollywood and all kinds of stuff and how he just sees that I just totally blow up everything <laughs> that he has, you know, it's like his everything he's built his whole identity on yeah. is really being, you know, blown up and it's been really beautiful too for him to be able to say what he needs to say. Like, yeah, he says he's never even heard what I don't even know that I do it. He said, I've never even heard a woman burp before. And he said, and you're burping and you know, <laughs> <laughs> all these things that I'm doing. <laughs> He's like, oh my word. And he said, I have absolutely no uh, elegance at all. And <laughs> look, he's having fun. <laughs> Jeffrey's enjoying this. <laughs> this will be the episode that I watch over and over the most, Frank. <laughs> But, you know, it's beautiful because it's like this real, like, you know, real, you know, it's been intimate in that yeah, way. Yeah. But it's been really honest about yeah. being able to face it together and like, okay, what's going on? If they're, you know, just really looking at the self-hatred and, you know, this identity. and Yeah. And also, you know, sometimes, you know, so stuff that you do get on my nerves and then I, I, you know, this is what we typically do. You know, we hold it, hold it until we get so pissed off that we, you know, instead of, and what I'm learning is, you know, just as it comes up, uh, just share it, you know, and um, you know, the no people pleasing is, is really, I mean, it's difficult to do, you know, and, but I know from my experience, you can't, I, I can't hold anything in, you know, it needs to come out. And that's where the development of trust is not, it's really trusting God. And like, we're in this relationship, it's the, this healing relationship, all of us in the community, really it's for the healing of our mind and to practice forgiveness. I mean, it's so precious that we have a safe place to be able to expose these thoughts and beliefs and, you know, be loved. There's a commit, the commitment to love. And I just feel so grateful for my own path uh, that that was what I was given and to be able to extend that, you know, to allow that real healing, you know, it's authentic healing and letting go of these self concepts because Frank's got, uh, you know, it's like, he's been very, I mean, he's got this deep call, but been very entwined in the world and money and finances and all kinds of massive concepts. And, this identification and not even knowing how strong it is until, you know, it's like starting to walk the walk, you know, and that's the practical application and, and the development of trust in God. And, and I feel like each day that we're together, it, it, it gets softer and softer. Like there's a, the mind starts to open up and being willing to relax and be able to say what it needs to say and, you know, and, and allow it just to move through those attack thoughts and, the willingness to forgive and it just feels like a really beautiful yeah you're just watching it like being so present with you know so it seems like we're here and i feel so grateful to be here looking for a center in europe for ricky and everyone and emily and i know that they have a, thoughts of you know it being a base for us but it, it really for for us it's like okay we have this mission just as a backdrop you know, to be present together and be in the prayer together. Yeah. I mean, and it's not about, you know, I realize also it's not about that because today it's the second time, you know, that we were with something and then we had to let it go. Even the Finca we were looking at before right. and then David was saying, uh, you know, I know how he starts, <laughs> when he starts the sentences a certain way. He said, okay, here he comes. He's, you know, he's saying, he's going to say, okay, that's not going to work out. 
And so he <laughs> did it again yesterday. And I said, okay, you know, it's not about finding the ideal place. It's really, I mean, for me, this is such a gift to be here, to have done that experience um, and, and, and to do it. And I, I have to tell you, you know, I think, I mean, to travel for me with David and Lisa is amazing. And on the other hand, you know, I'm counting the days when I can go home. <laughs> you know, so there's these two things because the ego doesn't like it. And uh, I'm, I'm very grateful. But on the other hand, okay, when is this over? And so uh, then, you know, I know that this, this is my, my ego that's trying to, uh, to wiggle out. But now, uh, you know, I'm, I'm also realizing, like what I said before, there's still so much more there. And, mm. and I'm thinking, oh, God. You know, often I say, why me? I didn't think this was going to be this hard, you know. I thought, uh, take a little bit of God into my dream, and then it's going to be, you know, not, not that lightly because I have, you know, really followed the path seriously for a while. But, you know, it's not taking, bringing God into the dream. It's really bringing, or the, 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 the illusions, bringing the illusions and letting everything go. And then that sounds great when we say it and we come to a retreat and yeah, 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 we want to let everything go. And then you do it and you say, Fuck, what is this? You know, I'm not, <laughs> you know, this. And in the book, it says the hole of the donut. You know, we're all afraid to be the hole in the donut. In the, in the big book of AA, it says that. And, and, and that's what it is. But I never thought that the hole of the donut, so I'm not afraid of the hole of the donut, bring it on, you know. Now it's brought on and I'm, oh my God, there's no way, there's no, no, no way back. There's no, and often I've said to the, okay, that's even before in the crisis, that's it, you know, I'm gone. And, you know, <laughs> and, where and then I, I say, go? see you later. <laughs> where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? I didn't say it, but I felt it. I said, okay. I felt it. Frank's gone. Okay. You know, you know for and, me, it, I'm not attached to it either, but you know, it's this humbling thing. It, yeah, really. Yeah. You've only just begun, you know, yeah. and that's a continuation, Yeah. you know, to begin each day anew and say, okay, I'm beginning again and to become really humble and, you know, getting honest and yeah, God wants our mind to be fully immersed in the love and the joy and, that's a consistent state of mind and that it's, and these obstacles that have to be looked at. Yeah. And letting go of everything is terrifying. It's terrifying. I think uh, when we, you know, when we begin, I don't think we know what we're in for, you know? <laughs> so it's baby steps. Yeah, yeah, we're taking yeah. baby steps and it feels really beautiful because, you know, it all's being used and it all feels good because this has just been, you know, yeah, it's like I, a door, he's opened up the, the door. And I have to say, I'm really grateful because, you know, I can only handle what I can handle and for everybody. It's so personalized. And I realize I'm, you know, really allowed to, to, uh, to take these baby steps. And, um, you know, it pisses me off every time Lisa says it to me, but she's right. She said, you know, we're being very, we're going very easy on you, you know. <laughs> but it's true. And I, I am appreciative, you know, that spirit is kind, you know, in that way. That, uh, and I know every word and every direction I get, you know, it's, it's spirit just moving me in a way that I can handle, you know? Yeah, and I feel very honored. I guess I feel really humbled and uh, I could even cry about that. It's been this beautiful, you know, and I'm not attached to the form. So I feel like each day I'm just like, it's like a GPS. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, we're gonna go there. I mean, I drove down from Europe. It was amazing. I've never even driven in Europe, in Zurich. Uh, got the car here to New York and took a ferry. I, I felt like I was Jesus on the high seas. I was on a ferry and the car was on this ferry. I've never seen a ferry so big. There were tractor trailer trucks on this thing and everything. And I had my own little cabin on the very front of this huge ferry. And I was like in the Mediterranean Sea, you know, <laughs> flying. And I thought this is, you know, I felt, oh, Jesus must have probably experienced this, but you know, just going with, you know, riding the wave, 
just really, really riding the wave and just the opportunities to, you know, experience God together, experience love together, experience, you know, forgiveness together. And, you know, for me, I see it's no different for me than the monastery or living in community. It's just out here now, the same thing that we're doing, you know, just day by day. And, and practicing communication too. I feel like that's. Yeah. And it's the way, you know, it's, it, it's the way things are done that I'm not used to. Like, you know, we were telling about the car and bringing the car over, but I was, you know, my logical, why would we bring a car over before we have a, we have a, a you know, a place here. And then I get all resentful about it, you know, and then I get really happy that, uh, you know, Lisa's appreciative. I get this great cabin, you know, she's saying. And then I go from happiness to total anger, you know, why, why are we doing this? And, you know, it's just like such a ping pong game of emotions and stuff. But then I can, you know, I, I can share this and, uh, uh, with Lisa and I say, yeah, but I still think it's fucked up that we're bringing a car and we don't even have a house, you know, <laughs> you know, and it's, you know, and that's when, when I realized that this is about taking direction, because even if that car came for nothing, even the fact that I had this contraction about it and that I was able to share about it and say, you know, and so what? Then we'll bring the car back if we don't need it. But, you know, the logic of mine says I could have rented the car for much less money than getting it here, you know. And, and that, if that was just the only lesson I had to learn and the car is going back in a week, then, you know, I'm fine with that. And that's huge for me because it is not about, and, and even if now we say living miracles is not going to Mallorca, we go to Italy or maybe somewhere else, or maybe, um, I hope it's not going to be <laughs> in the North somewhere where it's cold, but, <laughs> but even if it is, you know, I'm, uh, it's not about that. You know, it's about all this stuff and God knows there's been some contractions and these contractions if I wouldn't have gone through these contractions, I would have never uh, had such a good view. I mean, what, you know, it, I had a, a big look, the biggest look in the mirror of my life. You know, and I've been looking in the mirror for a long time, you know, in 12 steps and everything, but this was like, boom, you know. And, um, and so that, that's what, um, you know, so, so this was an intense community experience for me. Yeah, because he was he was actually signed up for the mystery school and then we all went into prayer and it didn't feel like it but it feels like this is his total mystery school you know uh just jumping into the unknown and every day yeah and just being so willing too you know it's just this willingness you know there's been resistances and he's wanted he said he's wanted to take a plane out a couple times uh but there, then there's just this willingness to okay let's regroup and yeah. Yeah. Like we're starting brand new all the time. I tell you, since I've been, you know, coming to to the events and living where I've been looking at many train uh, plane uh, <laughs> schedules. You know, <laughs> that's okay. okay. That's it. I'm looking. At, when's the next plane? Up? <laughs> I never took one, but <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like it's like uh, having a little tantrum. I you remember know, the thing is really, where are you going to go? You know, when you come this far, where are you going to go? There's nowhere, you know, there's no going back. Yeah. So we're going to complete this mission. I don't know. Uh, the thing is, uh, we, he can only be here now till the eighth. So I might end up staying on. We're not sure at this moment. We have not found a house. Uh, we have a, bunch of houses that we're gonna see keeps changing and so today we got a new GPS uh, you know destination and so we got to regroup tomorrow and you know yeah. so you know it's like okay so we know what we're doing for the next couple days but till the 8th Frank will leave and maybe I'll stay but it's it's really not what it seems to have been just this really beautiful opportunity to be able to look at those I think for the first time in your life seeing that's really good. Yeah that was scary. I you mean know, that's scary how, how big that is you know. Yeah. Did our internet go out? No you're still with us. Yeah. Okay. Because we just had a little sign that. 
Yeah. Yeah. So it's good stuff. Mm. It's fun stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Frank. I remember in Mexico the first time I came down to your house, and you're like, I was looking at planes last night. <laughs> 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 that's great that's great i had this i had this experience the other day where i was i forget what i was i was reading or i was praying into and it was just so clear that you know on our path where we've come from and then the 12 steps and where it used to be that we would have these consultations and joinings about addiction and now it's like talking to people about letting go of the world really you know what i mean it was like when you first were there or it might have been the last trip with lisa i, I or when she was coming i'm like Watch the nines again and remember that Lisa's the blonde haired woman. <laughs> like, so keep that in your mind. It's like, because it's such a deep, uh, a deep walk of trust that, uh, yeah, it can, it can yeah. see. <laughs> yeah, and then she asks him to do the most screwed up things. <laughs> you know, the, the class. Well, the and, you know, I think that this is what's really been, you know, he's used to giving directions. Yeah. So this has been a huge, huge thing. Like he gives directions all day long. <laughs> as part of his life and so you know for for him to take any directions it's like just a total switch around in his mind just even a little direction it's not even big ones yeah you know just such a you know you mm. know being able to look at that control and look at you know this you know and also responsibility i think that that's what we really have realized is just how much he has felt so responsible that he needs to know and to really trust to let go and follow that direction is huge. You know, mm -hmm. that he's not, that, that he's responsible for his state of mind and that he, that, you know, to, with the mighty companions around him, just to, you know, just see that it's God showing up and it, just in his willingness to say yes, you know, to what's appearing. And, you know, it's just for a couple months, yeah, you know, yesterday was interesting because we were, uh, you know, we, we did meditate for a while and then everything was really quiet and, uh, and it felt good. And then, you know, we had this whole situation yesterday with Italy, you know, um, and we didn't know. And then, you know, when it was time to wind up the evening and then I said, oh, let's call David now and see, because, you know, the, the, the ego wanted again, you know, the... You know, I was in such a good place, wanted to get out and, okay, let's get back into the drama, you know? Mm. And then, but I knew, I caught myself, said, no, no, don't. I, I, I don't know if I mentioned for you that, yeah, I did say, let's call David. And, right, and I said, no, no let's, let's go wait to till tomorrow. And then I question, why, am I, why do I want to call David now? You know, just to like stir midnight. up some, <laughs> because, you know, the mind wants to, you know, it's the, I mean, that's why I take, took drugs, you know, is to stop that mind that wants to rev all the time. And then, and then when you go into silence, uh, you know, it feels really good, but part of the mind doesn't like that, you know, and this is, um, you know, the mind wants to, to, to get into the thing and then I want to know and just give me some things to do and to think about, you know. We're and about out the, of time here, Frank, and I think you covered the mic a little because you, you went a little. Oh, I did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> here it is. <laughs> There he goes. But can could you hear what we said? Yeah, we heard you. Just it was just muffled okay. a little. So <clears throat> okay, because otherwise I can repeat it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you so much, guys. That's another episode of the Last Step, and thank you so much, uh, Lisa. That was what I heard this morning. I was like, yeah. "Oh, Lisa's there." I feel honored to have yeah, you on. Yeah, so yeah. thank you so much, yeah. and yeah, we'll keep uh, the extended community up to date on our. Uh, on Lisa and Frank's travels throughout the Mediterranean. <laughs> Back to you, Jeff. Thank you. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, man, my mouth is sore from laughing so much. It is so beautiful. <laughs> you know, I spent a whole bunch of time with Lisa at the monastery, and I felt exactly the same way. And thank God she was there because there was a number of times. In fact, I was in the monastery and I was, I was going to, did I have my car? I didn't have my car at the time. And that was the only thing that kept me there. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful path this is. Frank, it gets, it gets better and better and better. It really does. 
Oh man. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. <sighs> okay, what have I got for you? Ah, hey, this is actually perfect. Um, the, the, the last event um, that's on my list <clears throat> is something that came from Lisa actually a, a, a number of years ago, and it's Tabula Rasa, the mystery school. And she really poured her heart into this beautiful, beautiful event. Um, and that's going to start um, uh, this year in September, September the 